Okay, <clears throat> here we are. We're going to do a short demonstration of that coil right there. We're going to see how it reacts to having 12 volts and through it. 12 volts of current resting on top of that ferrite, fer ferrite magnet. Well, anyway, let's throw the switch, see what happens. Look at look at that response. It's like almost it's almost a violent response. Very volatile. Let's see. Oh, it's hot. It's really hot. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do the same demonstration. With This little double right here. And we'll see what happens. It's going to be the same thing, but we're going to see if it's as warm. And there's this thing that I made, and I don't think it's going to work. And that's a lot of wire, too. We've got this little loop that's sticking out. I think that's what's doing it. The current won't go through the whole thing. Then again, it is a big spool of wire, so maybe I'll, we'll plug that in too. And we'll see what happens. Alright, gonna throw the switch. Look at that. All right, now we got it down in the hole. Let's see what happens now. Oh, it's stuck down there. Gotta be kind of floating to jump. Beautiful. So we're gonna nail it down. And that is not as hot. All right, I probably am going to have to make this wire right for uh, experimentation. All right, I doubt anything cool is going to happen. Oh, it's very magnetic. Maybe it is working.
Well, I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna cut the power. Maybe it was working. Just but with that many turns, we should be able to use you know this to light it up. All right, thank you very much. That was a cool experiment, and I just um, I hope my pulse motor works when I get the reed switches and the discs with the 5 8 hole in the center so I can use the bearings should be good alright thank you have a nice night